My video today is a little bit different from what I've been normally doing. This is a how-to video about how to use the program OpenOfficeDraw. OpenOfficeDraw is basically a free program included in the Office Suite OpenOffice. Uh, so the drawing program is um, it has a bit of a learning curve to it, but I found it to be very useful and I use it quite a bit. And my goal today is to help you with a very preliminary basic use of the program and to help shorten your learning curve if you're going to use it. Okay, I've got OpenOffice Draw open on the screen and I'm going to show you some uh, simple things first of all to this is the workspace right here on the big page and the little page on the uh, left is the frame so we're on our first frame and we're going to pick down here on the lower left the rectangle and here is a rectangle okay now uh, we can do several things with these pages on the left we can either select a new page or copy the existing page and paste it. Okay, so now we've got two the same. Uh, now I'm going back here to the lower left. I'm picking the ellipse. And I'm going to just place that up here with the rectangle. I'm going to uh, press on the shift key. Click on the other object. Now they're both selected. And I am going to uh, I click I right click on the mouse. It brings up this toolbar. I go down to a thing called shapes, and I merge them. Okay, I'm going to highlight uh, our merged drawing. I'm going down to the bottom of the screen, and you'll see there's several little places where you can select different shapes, all kinds of them. Um, Anyway, we're going to pick one. So we'll pick this one here. Now I'm going to draw that shape. I'm going to bring it up here. And this is uh, in connection with the, the shapes tool in, on the toolbar that uh, we had before. I'm going to press the shift key, select the other object. Now they're both selected. I'm going to right click on the mouse for the toolbar. I'm going to shapes right here. And instead of merge, this time I'm going to subtract. And now you see how we took a bite out of that piece. Now we're going to try a little free form. We're going to turn this into somebody. Free form over here. Uh, there's several options. We're going to pick the field option. We're going to give them some hair. And we're going to select a color for the hair color up here let's give him that one okay now he needs eyes so we're gonna pick the ellipse again we're gonna do an ellipse here um, we're going to um, color it white Then we're going to do another ellipse. And we're going to make that blue. Then we're going to pick another ellipse. Make a little circle. Stick that there. We're going to make that black. And we want it centered if possible. I'm going up to the top here to the zoom tool. And this takes me right to the selected object. Fills the screen with it. Okay. Now I'm going to use the movement keys to move it that way and that way and we'll see if it's centered here I'll select that piece back on the object too okay well I think that's as close as we're going to center it um, 
now uh, I'm going to press shift and select all the items in there and select group here I right clicked on it to get this menu group and they are they should all move as one okay now we're going back to the zoom tool and picking full page all right now copy paste I'm gonna move that over I'm gonna select the two eyes I'm gonna move them up here okay starting to look like somebody we'll pick the main uh, piece and we'll give it a color uh, let's see let's make him like that more or less a normal skin color um, now he needs a nose we're going to pick the freeform drawing tool lower uh, left filled and we're going to draw him a nose and we'll color that well we'll color that we want it to be a little bit distinct from the other one so we'll just make it a different color uh, now let's do a freeform drawing tool again doesn't look too happy then I'm going to pick a color for the mouth which I will make um, red I guess now this uh, this could be done more elaborately like could put teeth in the mouth and all kinds of things but anyway for today this is good enough so we've just about got our man done the only thing left to do is ears I'm going to um, one of these shape tools. I'm going to pick rounded rectangle. I'm going to take that right like that. I'm going to increase the roundedness a little bit by grabbing this little yellow button. I'm going to change the color to I'm picking orange nine uh, there it is at the top orange nine okay and here's an arrange tool so this piece that is sticking on top I don't want it on top I want to send it to the back okay now I'm going to copy that piece just to give the ears a little definition copy paste and I'm going to uh, just reduce the size center it in the ear maybe come back a bit this way Now I'm going to send it backwards using the arrange tool. Send to back. Now it's all the way in the back. It's too far back, so we want to bring it forward a bit. So we're going to take the arrange and we're going to uh, bring forward. And there it is. Okay, now um, I want this drawing to be a little bit more. Um, contrasty so I'm just going to increase the line sizes up here is the line tool and you see it's continuous the color selected is gray for the line I want black and I'm going to increase that there he is well defined okay that's our man for today and that's the end of today's lesson um, we will um, probably make him talk in the next lesson and you'll get to see more of the action of our side frames so 
let's review what did we learned today first of all we learned uh, that there was a main work area and that there were little frames on the left hand side very important when we get to animating um, we learned how to select the re rectangle and the ellipse and put those shapes on the paper and um, combine them into a single shape we learned to select the freeform drawing tool and add shapes to our uh, our drawing uh, we learned how to color the different shapes we had on the uh, on the page we um, learn how to group with the eyes a uh, very important thing in certain situations and we learn how to copy and paste those eyes and make a pair of them um, so I'm sure there's other things we had we may, we ended up with a face sort of a kind of a face um, now I want to give you some homework which is to if you've got the open office draw uh, if you don't download it and recreate what I've told you today by making a face of your own uh, oh yes one of the things that are very important I must stress is we learned the arrange tool which brings objects back and forth in the drawing so we can send them to the back or we can bring them forward or we got li different levels of bringing them back and forth uh, that's a very important you will find if you use the program much that's very important anyhow try and recreate a face as I have done your own face it doesn't have to look like my f my drawing uh, and then uh, send them to me I'll be uh, very happy to talk about them in my next video on the open office draw program so looking forward to seeing those Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, liking and sharing if you've done that. And I'd really appreciate it if you would. And we'll see you later. I just want to give a shout out to a long time viewer of mine, Swampy Wilkinson, who subscribed to my channel many years ago and has watched a lot of my videos over the years. Thanks for watching my videos, Swampy.